Hello everyone, Mice Rang here. And yeah, there's more there's more climbing to do. So to do that we're gonna switch back to the Sonic Boom. The traits give it plus four firepower and the Caltrops effect. It's pretty strong. We'll be able to one-shot multiple pieces at once. Look at that, we have 16 firepower. It's more than double many of the other shotguns. Uh, I want to be closer to the king. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the king just runs up to us. It'll make this run very easy. Okay, what do I want? Wanda Frenzy is pretty great. Okay, so Trowel and Judgment Day are both super dangerous. Um, you know, but the upsides... Well, the upside of Wand of Downpour isn't actually that exciting, but, like, Wand of Frenzy is pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll just take fine, cheap porcelain and conscription, because, like, I, I don't want to deal with healing rooks that have, like, way too much health. I mean, I, I could one-shot a Trowel Rook because of how strong my gun is. But... Uh, okay, I don't... Like, where this is headed? Okay, can we just, like, knock back both of these? Okay, cool. Alright, I gotta take out this queen. Yeah, I, if I was confident that I could kill this king in two shots, I would just shoot him. But I'm not. Oh, the jester got in the way. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're out of here. So yeah, the existence of the Jester is sort of inter- what is this? <laughs> okay, um, Gargoyle of Parapets, super dangerous. Yeah, fl flying rooks, they're just, uh, they're, they're a pretty good way to end your run. Um... Surprise attack and saboteur, it's like not super exciting. Alright, let's see let's let's see uh let's see how Glacius's uh moat waterways turns out. Now this is really it's really not gonna be easy on the eyes, but that's alright. And how powerful is this gonna be? So it's gonna make it so I can sort of, like, kind of easily escape from... I can escape from pretty much anything just by running across some water. Like, this seems like it'll be... This seems like it'll make the run a lot easier. What is... What is attacking this square? This rook is attacking this square? So does that mean pieces that are in the moat can attack through it? Huh. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, Rook. Oh my goodness. So this this does this row of this row of moat just doesn't work. Well, that's not as great as I was hoping then. I, I don't know. Let's just, let's just kill that rook. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Obviously, oh, okay. Pre uh, presumably, a piece that is in the moat can ignore it. Even if there's like, you know, water tile, land tile, water tile. The piece that's in the moat can jump over other pieces, over other moat squares. Anyway, uh, let's take King Shoulders. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's like a get out of jail free card sometimes. So, yeah, so I gotta be careful when pieces get into the moat. Okay, there's no way I can knock the king back. 
out of the way of the rook, but if this king was not here, then the rook would be able to attack. So yeah, this bishop can attack everything. This bishop, well, it's blocked by the king. Okay, whatever, who cares? Uh, we can do 10 damage. Yeah, got him. Now we just need deep waters. If we get deep waters, or if we get the if we get the shovel, the trench shovel. Oh my goodness, trench shovel would just like instantly win the run. Um, I think holy leader would is not something I want to take. Uh, King sanctuary, no thank you. Ooh, soul card. All right. Man, we got a soul card. I'm so happy. So yeah, this queen can't attack over the moat. Uh, you know what? We're going to move closer. We're going to get a queen soul. Oh yeah. So now i got to be careful not to like accidentally kill that pawn. Move there. I need to get away. I think I want to go straight down. Yeah, so I have, I have flexibility on which side of the moat I want to go. Oh yeah, so Glacius is one of the programmers who helped uh, who helped implement functions like this, like making whatever tiles you want into moats. tic-tac-toe board is a lot of visual clutter. That's that's certainly one opinion, or it's not, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's an opinion. Okay, I just sped up upon promotion. It's fine. Wow, I have so much ammo regen. Man, yeah, because I had the, the fine, cheap porcelain on turn 25. Alright, let's just get out of this. <laughs> Turn row two into water. I think, I think that's actually detrimental at this point. Also, I don't want conscription with lookout tower. Let's just take purgatory and uh, backups. I don't want to add. I don't want to take scouting. Yeah, purgatory backups. But yeah, given that rows three and six are moats. Yeah, I think I think a, a piece could get into row two pretty easily, and then. All the, the, the Glacius' waterways would be... Would just actively be detrimental to me. Or more like useless. Okay. RNGs could just bless me with a trench shovel to get all pieces minus one speed and make the entire boat deep waters. Come on, trench shovel, trench shovel. Okay. Uh, I think just flimsy treaty and castle here. Like I, I don't, I don't want Pike Man. I don't want the, the row two mode. I don't want the the queen soul to not be able to be reached. Cause like, not being able to get queen souls would be very sad. Okay, um, I, I gotta move closer to actually get a decent shot. There we go, that's a, now that's a decent shot. Get out of here. Alright, this jester has survived way too long. He crouched into my territory, can't have that. Alright, we got the increased ammo region from the fine, cheap porcelain. You know, any any source of ammo regen is pretty good. So even though I don't, even though fine cheap porcelain really only gives the one ammo regen, it's not like an awful card. Oh, I forgot about castle. Oh man. Okay. Well, we don't have enough damage to one shot this guy, but what we can do 
is chuck a jester at him. <laughs> okay. Um, flying bishops. Okay, we have flimsy treaty, so taking flying bishops would be fine. I think. And, you know, extra turn when I kill a knight. It's pretty cool. I just gotta be careful not to kill any bishops until I'm ready to fight. Hmm. I think I'm ready to fight these bishops. Like, there's only three of them, so it's not like... Wait, what's attacking? Oh, right. Okay. Um... Well, this is a guaranteed shot on the knight, so I'm just gonna take it. Okay, if that queen could get pushed back, yes. Alright. Now the rook can attack through all that. Okay, wh wh what's, what's my plan now? Well, my plan is just fight on this side, I guess. Alright, now I think I can finally move a bit closer. Okay, I just gotta... Oh, right, castle. Okay, well, we'll just bully the king until all the rooks die, I guess. Now the king's on the other side of the board, and a bunch of pawns are going to be promoting soon. I mean, some of them might even promote to rooks. Yeah, like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. We're going to be here a while, but... I mean, it's not going to be that long. Okay, there is a moat protecting me from that rook. Okay, it's just a queen, it's fine. Okay. Uh, more fire range? I like that, pretty good. Clean grape shot got buffed. Now it's like actually a pretty good card rather than just, like, you take it for the aesthetics of having an evenly spread fire arc. Uh, could take, I could take this card that makes bishops really weak. No, I mean, Crow's Blessing is just the thing that you want with this deck. Or loadout, or whatever. Range is such a powerful stat. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore the flimsy tree. Just, like, you know, just shoot the bishops. There we go. Oh, I, I misclicked. Uh, that queen is in a moat tile, so I gotta be a little careful. Okay. Um, okay, that queen's not in the moat anymore, so no matter what wackiness happens, there's no way it can attack me. There we go, one shot at the rook. I'm gonna actually try to defend the, uh, try to defend the, the back rank from promotions. Since the promotions did kind of extend around by a lot. bunch of pieces but make everything slower. Hmm. Or I could take Offertory. I don't want to take Metrioshka doll though. Crystal Ball plus Militia seems fine, I guess. 
Like, I'm so good at shooting pawns. Oh, wait, this plus one range is only until I kill a bishop. Ugh. I kind of, I kind of like Egotic Maelstrom. It's just a really fun card. So I kind of want to take it, even though Court of the King is kind of dangerous. You know, it gives us two knights, and we get an extra turn when we kill a knight. So I think it's actually fine. And it gives us the ability to, um... I don't know, get more value out of Flimsy Tree if I really wanted to. Alright, this shot is surely... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, we've, we've gotten... Well, we're about to get our second firepower boost. Look at that, we can now one-shot the king. Uh, yeah, this shot's definitely safe, so I'm just gonna take it. Okay, that that rook is not in the moat. Oh yeah, also we get a free turn when you shoot a knight. Okay. Um, how safe is this shot? I think it's safe. We needed one hit to, to get the knockback. That was all we needed. Alright, now we have that extra ammo regen from the fine, cheap porcelain. Now, is the is the cheap porcelain really fine, or is it just copium for the person who wanted to buy porcelain but didn't want to spend a lot of money on it? <laughs> okay. Um, well, yeah, getting some extra range. I don't think I really need any more range, but I also don't want to add a whole bunch of pieces on turn 30. Like, even though I have this egotic maelstrom, uh, it also, Entitled Reflection is kind of useless. Okay, we're not taking Siege Tower. I guess... Yeah, I guess we're taking Raven the Raven Lord. Okay. <laughs> it is fun seeing the Raven and the... Or the, the Crow and the Raven Lord, like, next to each other. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't violated the Bishop Tree yet. Well, let's just... Okay. If I just... Yeah, there's no way that this shot... Yeah, yeah. We, we can... Like, I'm ready to fight the bishops. Okay. Um... I don't really need to shoot anything right now. Actually, I can just shoot this bishop. You know, either shoot it now or I shoot it next turn. Anyway, this is a, this is a free turn no matter what, so... Actually, I could just shoot this queen. Yeah, and I'll angle my shot up as much as I can. Okay. The, the the tic tac toe shaped moat. I don't know whether I like it or not. It's like it's kind of interesting seeing seeing evidence of how exactly the moat works, where it it doesn't check to see if there's like if the entire path between one moat tile and another is all moat. Because in the base game, like, you only have the one line of moat, so you can't have a path that's a straight line from one moat tile to another have land in the middle. Okay, well, finally we get our, um, get our engraved bullet value. Let's go. And, yeah, okay, uh, we'll go up here. 
and will finally violate our flimsy treaty. It's it's lasted for a whole four turns. That's got to be a record, right? <laughs> I mean, no, but still. Um, yeah, this shot is safe. We're guaranteed to kill the bishop. Yeah, there we go. I'm just I'm just glad that the bishops don't violate the treaty. I guess it wouldn't be a very good card then. <laughs> Can you imagine though, like flimsy treaty, uh, you know, bishops can't attack you unless they feel like violating the treaty. Okay. Yeah, let's just let's just shoot all shoot down all the rooks. No secret ending today, but. Well, that, that happened. Alright, let's see what rank 33 is. Add another Jester hat. Okay. And what gun do I want to try now? Um... <laughs> I like I like that this this bounty hunter shotgun is a darkest dungeon reference. <laughs> um, this shotgun gets the ability to allow you to jump over a piece. Okay, so this death wish gives us taunting hop. So we'll see if taunting hop is powerful enough to to like win a run. Taunting Hop is pretty powerful. Like, it doesn't even need to do damage, it's just, it's just the effect is so powerful. So the only problem here, I guess, is that... Um, is that it's, like, kind of hard to... Well, we, we have to get... We have to, like, hit the Rooks with something before we can play them. Oh yeah, the, the 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 sweeping attacks. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just kill this jester. Get out of here. Okay, let's, um, we have Taunting Hop, so kings are not even the slight, the slightest threat to us. Like, if the king corners us, then we just hop over it. I guess in a, in a board with more stuff happening, the king is still a threat because there could be something right behind the king. Okay, um... What do I even want here? Do I just take Holy Gunpowder plus Conscription? Like, Wand of Gust is neat. So, it, it like, taking Firepower or Accuracy, like, taking upgrades to my gun, like, isn't great because... Yeah, because this gun is sort of centered around Blade. So... I don't know. I don't want Pawns to be faster. Pawns getting plus one health is fine, because I think we still one-shot them with our blade. Pawns have six health, right? I don't know. I think Wand of Gust is pretty good, though. How much health do Pawns have? Oh, they have set... They got the health buff at rank 33, so... Um, yeah. Well, I gotta kill this Pawn, I guess. Hopping there really mattered at all. I don't know, I just felt like hopping. Hopping is fun. Wow, we're like kind of cornered. Good thing, uh. Wow, this is. Hmm. We're just like kind of getting destroyed here. I could use my Wand of Gust. 
No, that wouldn't help us. No, it would. Yeah, use my Wand of Gust, then Blade the Queen. But I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay. Um, guess I just have to shoot this knight. Yeah, that's safe. Um, I think this is safe. Yeah. I guess if it's not safe, then the volley shields will work. Yeah, it's under I think. Oh, right, I can't... Uh, yeah, I can't actually blade a rook at full health. Oops. Does this save us? For now, it does. Okay, yeah, if we hop here, that doesn't work, so we gotta go up here. Okay, this is safe. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess we just go here. Man, taunting off is so good. Um, okay. Now we shoot this rook. Half damage will not kill the jester. Alright, now we, yeah, now we were able to blade the rook to low enough health. And... Okay, it looks like we're pretty safe at this point. That was, that was pretty close. Alright. Um... Alright, we got just these last two chesters, and we're good. Okay, there we go. This is the card we want. It's Nightbane. Although, Pawns being incredibly fast is a problem. Maybe I just take Crystal Ball and Shortage. Like, I don't really care about my ammo, so, like, I think it's actually fine. Yeah, it's like, do I want scouting in exchange for being able to, like, I can blade, this, this lets me blade Rooks. You know, let's take it. We can, like, yeah, being able to blade Rooks will be really nice, and we need to, we just need to make sure we kill the Knights as quickly as we can. Okay, um... Oh, and we do half damage to adjacent targets, which means... Yeah, which means that extra blade makes it even a little bit easier to kill other stuff. Uh, so... Okay, now I just hop in here, and that's the end of this night, and therefore, the card. And now I just hop out. Yep. Now, how, how exactly do I want to do that? I could use my wand. I don't think that helps us. Like, I think we just, just get out of here and probably keep this pawn alive to use as cover. Yeah, I'll just keep it alive for now. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, this, this, um, yeah, we do the half damage to the pawn, to the jester, so that's, yeah, there we go. All right, um, it's weird that pawns will just try to move, like, directly into me and won't try to move diagonally to me so that they can attack me. It's just a little quirk of the AI, I guess. Uh, yep, yeah, that's safe. Okay. Wait, how did that do 10 damage to the bishop? What? 
I'm so confused. I must have, I don't know, I, something weird happened. Anyway, we have 11 blade, so... I'll see if I can replicate that, that, that weird, that weird damage, that, 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 that 10 damage sword peripheral hit thing. Anyway, um, yeah, purgatory kind of useless. I mean, searing aura is like the one thing that might help us here because we already have taunting hop. We also need to kill the knights in a hurry. So definitely beast tamer is useless. Like this one damage fire aura might help us. Oh, look at that, it lets us triple kill the knights. It's pretty spicy. Um, yes, this is, yeah, this is guaranteed. Um, okay. Um, does it matter which way I go? Probably want to go up. Oh, the yeah. There's a there's a bishop right there. Okay. Well, I have. Yeah, let, let's go here. This works, and then yeah, then I can kill this queen. And. Uh, hopefully this is good. Okay, I guess it wasn't, but we still have... Wait, we have Taunting Hop. Okay, do I want to use my Taunting Hop before or after? I think I want to use the wand before I use the Taunting Hop. Yeah, because we just hop over here and kill this queen. Alright. Oh, I didn't think that would hit that way. So if I so if I blade a piece like orthogonally adjacent, it will do half damage to the ones that are whatever the orthogonally adjacent the other way. Okay, you know what? That's where we're gonna call it. Uh, We'll, 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 we'll do rank 33 some other time. But yeah, I think we could have won that run. Maybe. I don't know. That's what we're going to call it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.